How are you today? I hope that you are doing great. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. You know what? Every day when I wake up, even if I wake up before the sun, and I usually like the sun to wake up before me, but sometimes in the winter I need to wake up before the sun. Sometimes there is no sun at all in the winter. So anyways, every day when I wake up, I just say, this is a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. And you know what? Usually my day turns out to be beautiful. So it's a good thing to say. When you wake up in the morning, always remind yourself or tell yourself, this is a beautiful day. All right. So what are three things you are grateful for today? Hmm. What are three things I am grateful for today? I am grateful for my computer because it allows me to speak with you. And I am grateful for this book that I am reading you the stories from and the authors that wrote all the stories. And I am grateful that uh, you are spending this time with me. So let's get started. Our story today is called Puppy Tail. Puppy Tail. All right, let's start. Sparky lived on a farm in the country. He was as curious and as busy as a farm puppy could be. Sparky searched and sniffed his way around every inch of that big farm. One day, Sparky's father asked him, Son, what in the world are you looking for? I smell something that smells like fun sparky answered i don't know what it is but i will know when i find it and off he went sparky's father chuckled he remembered when he himself was the busiest pup in the lit in the litter at least sparky was not bothering the cows at milking time or rolling in the mud with the pigs or causing trouble in the hen house a little later, on the other side of the meadow, Sparky caught a scent and it smelled like something that smelled like fun. In the woods at the edge of the meadow, Sparky dug through some leaves and he found a big toy bone buried there. Sparky loved his new big toy bone. It was perfect for chewing and it was and chomping and he brought it home to show his father. I found it, said Sparky, and I was right. It's a fun toy. Well, what do you know, Sparky's father said. I haven't seen that bone in years. That was my toy bone when I was a pup your age. Sparky's father had lost the toy bone long time ago. He had looked for it way back then, but he never caught the slightest scent of it. Then he had forgotten all about it. Remember that. Sparky did not just find the bone because it was there. He caught the scent of it first. And Sparky's father, even though this was his toy and he played with it, at a certain point in time, the scent disappeared and so he could not find it again. Hmm. It was buried in the woods beside the meadow, Sparky said, like buried treasure. Son, I'm proud of you, said Sparky's father. You are one fine finder. Can I have it? Can I have it? You found it? It's yours, his father said. Just be sure you take care, care of that bone. Don't lose it like I did. Sparky promised he will never lose his new toy. He kept it with him all the time. Sparky even held the toy bone while he slept, like a teddy bear. Sparky brought the bone to breakfast and he even brought the bone to the pasture where they watched the sheep. But Sparky did not watch the sheep. He chomped the bone most of the time and when he was not busy chewing, he kept a watchful eye on his toy bone. 
he did not want to lose it. Sparky's brother and sister did not like the toy bone. Sparky thought they must be jealous. He had the bone and they didn't. So Sparky offered to share it with them. We don't want it, they told Sparky. We want to play circle chase, but you never play with us anymore. Sparky said he would play with them for a little while. Every time he turned though, Sparky bumped his brother and sister with a big toy bone. Sparky's father said, son, you can't keep running around with that toy bone in your mouth all the time. Someone might get hurt, but I don't want to lose it. Sparky's father brought him out to the edge of the meadow. Let me show you something I learned when I was a pup. We will dig a hole that you can use to hide your bone. Sparky and his father buried the bone in the dirt. Now, no one would know where it was hidden. Whenever you want your bone, all you have to do is dig it up again, Sparky's father told him. This way, you don't have to carry it around with you all the time, and you will be sure it's in a safe place, even when it's not with you. This is great, said Sparky. Now I can leave the bone, and only I will know where it is. Don't forget where you buried it, Sparky, his father reminded him. I promise I will not forget. Sparky barked happily, calling his brother and sister out to the meadow. They came to see what was going on. Now I can play with you again, Sparky cheered. What happened to your toy bone? His sister asked. Yeah, said his brother. Did you lose it? Sparky smiled at his father. I can tell you where it is. Sparky said, if you ever want to play with it, I will know where to find it. Sparky jumped to chase his brother, snapping playfully at his feet. His brother chased his sister and their sister chased Sparky and nobody bumped into anyone else. It was the best time they had had together in a while. They played circle chase all day long. Sparky had been so busy with his new toy bone that he had forgotten what fun it was to play with his family. The end. Have you ever had a toy that you liked so much that made you forget the people you like to spend time with or play with or have fun with? You know, not just kids, even grown-ups. Sometimes they get so busy with um, something like the toy of the puppy. Maybe it's work, maybe it's a TV show, maybe it's um, anything. And they spend a lot of time on this new toy of them that um, they forget to spend time with the people that they actually love. And when we spend time with the people that we love, we create memories. But when we just play with our toys, there aren't really memories there because you can't have a memory with something that is not alive. Remember that. Now you know why Sparky's father at a certain point in time did not smell, did not catch the scent of the toy bone anymore because he just figured there are more important things in life that he can spend his time with other than the toy bone. All right. Well, again, I hope you enjoyed the story. And if you understood what I just told you, which is a big, big life lesson, then this just proves my point that you are so smart and you are amazing and you are lovable and you are kind. And you know what? Even if you did not understand my big life lesson, you are still so smart, you are amazing, you're lovable, and you're kind. You can do anything you want to do in your life, and you can be anyone you want to be in your life. And if anyone tells you anything other than this, they don't know you as well as I do. And I love you, I love you, I love you. Now, it's time for our sing-along. One big circle, 
all the kids in the world one song. Ah, let's start. Let your love shine on, for we are the stars in the sky. Let your love shine strong until the day we fly. Let your love shine on, for we are the stars in the sky. Let your love shine strong until the day we fly. Thank you for being with me today on our story time special time have a good night sleep tight sweet dreams and remember i love you this much and more have a good night i'll see you tomorrow